Ending a giant program like fluoridation, where 70% of the municipalities in the entire country are participating in it, is a monumental task. I often wonder why I'm even involved with it, because it takes so much to move it. I think Dr. Kennedy knows this, and certainly Jeff Green, and all of these wonderful people like Paul Conant and his lovely wife and the rest of the anti-fluoride community, um, they understand how hard it is, but do you understand how important your persistence against this is? Do you understand how much of an impact you can make? And, you know, you hear this for every cause in the world, I know. Every freaking other email is sign this petition, do that thing, you know. And a lot of these things have to do with very important issues. So when you get your back up and you start to think you really want to do something for your, your family, your kids, their children, to fight for fluoridation is to put your foot down and say, look, we want a clean, decent country run by people we can trust enough to do the right thing, especially in a, in a blazingly obvious way that fluoridation is. Of course we shouldn't be fluoridating our water. It's absurd. It's absurd on so many levels that I cannot begin to tell you in one video. So take your conscience to bed with you tonight. And think about fluoridation and what you can do. But don't lose any sleep. The key to fighting for your rights in this country is never let it get to you. Never let it get to you. I don't want to hear about people's heads exploding with grief or worry over this. No. You do your work. You write your letters. You express your feelings. You do a good professional job at your civic duty towards fluoridation or whatever you're working on and then you turn it off like a switch and go and enjoy this beautiful world. Doesn't that make sense? Don't become obsessive but when you're working on it work really hard and know what you're doing. Have a great week.